The first thing I'm going to do is install the hard drive and the optical drive. And the reason why I'm going to do that first is because by not having the power supply in place, it gives me plenty of room and access to the hard drive cage to be able to get it out easily, install the components, and reinsert it. So we're going to do that by unscrewing this uh, lock screw and get that out of the way. And then the cage will slide out fairly easily. And now you have very clean access to be able to mount the optical drive and the hard drive. So as you can see here, I've got the hard drive already mounted. I've got the Blu-ray optical drive already mounted. Now you can also see that I use rubber grommets to secure the hard drive in place. These will help isolate the vibration of the hard drive as it's rotating and spinning and make it uh, a little bit quieter inside the chassis. So once you've got those mounted in, then it's just a matter of securing the drive cage back in place. Slide it in place, take the lock screw that you had earlier removed, and secure that back in place.